Hey y'all, what's up? We're back with another video today. Um, I just woke up again. I don't know. My voice isn't as deep as the last video because my voice is deep when I wake up. Anyways, um, that's besides the point. We're going to do this makeup look today um, that I found on Pinterest. And of course, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the picture that I'm mimicking in the corner of the screen probably like somewhere like up here and i'm just gonna let you guys see like the picture so you guys can be like oh yeah she finessed this look or she didn't <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna do that um it's gonna be a voiceover i find voiceovers very i find them easier for me because i don't really have nothing to talk about i really don't and it's hard to, my makeup videos are longer if I talk through them. Like, they'll be 30 minutes. And I take like 45 minutes in an hour. Like, they'll be more real time. And I know people don't want to sit down and watch a video for 30 minutes. So, I try to keep them 20 minutes or less. Sometimes, I really aim for 15, but it doesn't happen all the time. But anyway, yeah. So, just tune in to the next video and then I'll do it next clip and i'll be doing a voiceover Alrighty, guys here i'm just showing you that i'm using my ColourPop pomade in the shade black and brown and i'm taking my aoa brush that i got from this website called shop myth a um i really encourage people to check the website out they have really affordable um things like brushes eyeshadow makeup wipes and things of that nature on their website are pretty affordable everything on there is pretty much a dollar or two um i actually got this brush in a set i believe it was like i don't know like nine dollars and i got oh geez maybe like 10 brushes or so so um yeah i really encourage you to check this website out if you haven't before um, but yeah, I'm just filling my eyebrows in like normal, trying not to look crusty anymore. And then I'm just turning up. I was listening to music in the background, um, this time. So I'm taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 42. And of course, I'm just dragging that under my eyebrows and then putting it, um, on my eyelids as well as a primer. And then um, I just went ahead and cleaned up underneath. And then I'll buff all that out later on with my Real Techniques. Real Techniques. Um, fluffy brush just to blend everything out. Alrighty, here in these all these clips really you're probably going to see me singing because i was listening to music but i took my morphe 35m palette and i dug into that shade that i pointed to and i took this really fluffy brush and i dug into that shade and i just put that above my crease with that brush and of course, I did the same thing to both eyes. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, This video, I was very dedicated. Um, It took me... I had to wipe my makeup off on both eyes once. And then on the... On my right eye, I had to redo it two times two times so you know i'm committed because i was trying to make it as even as possible it was just stressing me out i was getting irritated and you guys will probably see in my next clip that i put up me getting irritated once i start trying to cut my crease
okay as you guys just saw my hair was being irritating like the clips didn't want to stay but i am digging into that purple shadow that i um pointed to and i'm using a fluffy mm, like a fluffy packing brush um and i'm just going going ugh, I'm going ahead um, to put that color in my crease. I don't even know if that makes sense anymore. But I'm putting that color into my crease and on my outer corner of my eye. And I'm kind of like packing it on but also blending it out at the same time. Alrighty, um, before this you did see me using the brush I started out with and I was just making sure those colors look seamless. But I'm taking my Sephora Make No Mistakes Concealer in the shade Nutmeg and I am using on that same brush I used to clean up under my eyebrows to cut my crease with that concealer. I'm not gonna lie y'all, like I said before, y'all gonna see me get irritated. Um, I was having a hard time um making both eyes cooperate i don't know what was going on but i did have to start over a few times in all honesty so honestly it took me a while to do my makeup because i kept having to start over and i just really wanted to make my cut crease look clean and i wanted it to be the exact shape that i wanted
Alrighty, for some reason, I didn't show you guys that I was using a Morphe powder that I have. Um, it's like 15... I don't remember the uh, letter. But anyways, I was using a Morphe palette. Um, and I was using a, um, like an iridescent purple shadow. And I was just using that to apply to my inner corner of my eye, as you guys can see here. Alrighty, I ended up going into my Morphe 35B palette for the next color. I was debating on what color I wanted to use, but as you see, I pointed to the color. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use like a small fluffy brush. And I'm going to pack that color on right next to that iridescent purple. And I know you probably can't really see the iridescent purple, but um, at the end when I show you guys what's really going on with my eyes, I promise you. It's there, and you guys will be able to see what's really going on. All right, with the same brush, I'm, I'm going to take the color right underneath the one we just used, and I'm gonna pack that onto the color right next to the color we just put down. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna just do a little blending action and just make sure the two are blended together. Alright, the outer corner was looking kind of plain to me, so I took that color right underneath the one we just dipped into, and I just 
kind of deepened the outer corner with that purple just to give the look some definition. All right, in this next clip, you see I have both eyes done, but I'm going into with a really small fluffy brush and I am taking that black shadow that I pointed to and I am going to use this as my eyeliner. Um, I want it, um, it's a look more smoky. So yeah, that's just what I used for my eyeliner as you guys are seeing. Alrighty guys, here it is for you, the final look. Um, this is up close what my eyes are looking like. I really do like it. Um, I did the rest of my face off camera. I originally did it on camera, but it was just too much. So nothing changed about my face makeup. Of course, I did the baby oil, the lotion, used my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, my ColourPop concealer, and same thing for my lips everything is the same i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um just make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe and you're commenting on my video it will be greatly appreciated thank you guys so much